والجهاد بإذن الله تعالى الله أكبر أنا بلوك والجهاد Welcome, welcome, great people of Biafra. The Zoo Niger government intentionally donates um, Amot personnel carriers and a whole lot of ammunition and, uh, you know, sticks and granites, weapons and ammunition in an APC. They packed these weapons and ammunition inside the APC, took it to the camp of the uh, F. Uh, Fulanese and you know dropped it for them there those Fulani terrorists took it they came to the place collected everything and then in the end set those um, APCs on fire but then it begs the question what is actually wrong why did they abandon two you know fully loaded armored personnel carriers they just abandoned them fully loaded with guns and ammunition so how did this happen how did this happen if it wasn't an intentional act how did it happen and so um they came up with the idea that it the the apc got stuck in the road so people are not asking so you are moving with apcs that are fully loaded with ammunition and guns and then you claim that uh, it got stuck and you cannot defend it and take it out that is a lie that will be sold to a one week old baby even a one week old baby will not even accept that kind of lie and so that is how they have continually donated, you know, arms and munitions to these Boko Haram members. Now I want you to think twice. I want you to reason in this line. I want you to reason in this line. How is it that something like this can never get stuck? In Biafra land and they will leave it. How is it that it can never get stuck elsewhere? But it gets stuck in the north and they abandon it. They run away, they left it. This has always been their modus operandi. Now I want to tell you one very big secret that most of you may not know about. Are you aware? Are you aware that these Boko Haram members, the Boko members, also live in the barracks with niger soldiers are you aware are you aware that the zoo military knows these people and have one-on-one -on -one communication with them on daily basis are you aware are you aware that all you are seeing on social media claiming that these people that they have you know uh, by these people by social number of the Boko Haram members are you aware that it is just a propaganda I will show you a recent video of this you know Fulani's gathering somewhere and you are going to you know confirm by yourself and you know tell the world what you have seen through that video if these people have been completely dealt with because they continue to tell you 1000 has retired 2000 but you don't know where these people are going back to they are being reintegrated into the zoo ninja military and police and all of that and you discover that they are now in charge they have completely taken over the north there's nothing remaining they are in charge of the north and they are now moving to the west before you know it they will take over the west if not for the aid of the Piafra liberation army and the Piafra defense forces they would have encroached into the east they planned and they did a whole lot and that is why anytime you hear of attacks and attacks and attacks just always try to monitor those villages that have been attacked it is always Enugu or a boy those villages that border the northern part that border benue border um, kogi those are the places because they want to from that place infiltrate come into the east 
but then they have been dealt with at that point so when people are reasoning you know thinking on how to solve these problems thinking on what is actually the agenda i saw a post where someone said that um the agenda is not to islamize nigeria but the agenda is for land grabbing and i beg to ask this person a question what is the difference between islamizing nigeria and to grab your land if they grab your land and take charge over your land what else what else is left for you you become their 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 tenants and they become your landlords and as such they have taken over and as such whatever is their tradition and laws you are going to obey indirectly they have islamized you so what are you talking about it is the same thing the both of them are the same now look at this video very well look at them they are now gathering and preparing for the west a very serious onslaught is coming on the west but they are not even aware they are not the southwest is not even aware they are sleeping jumping around claiming that their brother is the president yoruba afonja just look how prepared these people are look how you know see the number see how prepared they are and they are going to march into these people's territory and when they finish dealing with them they will not know what hits them they will not know what hit them when people are preparing and making sure that their places are safe and we are telling them ensure that you build a military to defend your land defend your land defend your land they thought it was a joke but thank god for the biafran people who have a military well you know taken care of by the biafra government in exile under the leadership of the prime minister ekpa simon Njoko. it has always been a roller coaster it has always been uh a wonderful sight to behold to see that there are men who are out there to defend the people of biafra now i want you to just watch the video <laughs> Alhamdulillahi <laughs> min nun min mi yehi ladde wi no kure lobbere do ladde wodi koy de ngala to ndiyam no woto ciukku no woto bibbe le na ngonto nam yidi mi yatam jodam rewa Allah baato ma tan tan yehi yim fe sakko annal tawi tak now that is it that is where they are gathering now i want you to pinch out or pick something out of what this man has been saying and that very important thing i want you to pick out is if you listen carefully you are going to hear jihad what do you understand by jihad what do you understand by jihad they are coming get yourself prepared it is always be a fest udo dirono